paralyze you with fear. Child of God, I want to tell you this morning that God's will for your life is so big and it's so multifaceted. It's so huge that it can be overwhelming and quite honestly scary. I'm telling you, if the me right now can go back and talk to the me 10 years ago, I would probably live it, be living somewhere in some far off distant land and y'all would never hear from me again because it's so big, it's so huge, and it's so scary, it will blow my mind. And so, but I get to a point where, where I realize, man, how do you walk on water? God, if you call me out, I'll take one step. And I'll put it in front of the other. There's a song that says that, and it reminds me that it's so, it's so true. But the reality, his will is so huge and it's so big and it's so multifaceted. Why does his will have to be so scary? Why does his will have to be so huge? Why can't I just have something simple? Like, can't I just help old ladies across the street and call it a day? Maybe that is it. I don't know. But the reality is this. God's will is so big and so huge for your life and so multifaceted and so difficult to accomplish because it causes you to continuously lean on him in order for it to be done. I tell staff all the time, when we talk about COTR Global, I say this all the time, listen, I cannot do it. In fact, I'm so excited about COTR Global because it helps me to recognize this reality. If I can do it by myself, God isn't in it. If it ain't, I've gotten to this point, I'm still testing this one out, but if it's not scary, if it doesn't challenge me to go beyond myself, and my life is shown, God probably isn't, it isn't, he isn't in it. God wants to make his, his will for your life so challenging and, and not, not difficult, but so big and so seemingly insurmountable that it causes you to, one, be humble and lean on him and check on other people who, where you are, are weak, they're strong, where they're, where they're weak, you're strong, and lean on each other to move forward. This is the essence of all in Church on the Rock because I'm telling you, you can't do it by yourself. You've already proven yourself that. I can't do it by myself. I've proven that to myself many times, but when we come together, all locked in to do God's will on this earth, I'm telling you, we just can't lose we can't lose and so the reality is it's natural to be a little nervous when you start to think about God's will for your life but don't let that nervousness paralyze you don't let that nervousness paralyze you that's what the enemy that's what the enemy wants to wants to do is 